this antenna measurement tutorial, I'm going to show you how to measure the mutual coupling of the MIMO antenna in the lab. So let's dig in. If you have a 2x2 MIMO antenna element as shown in this figure, which has two identical antenna elements, then the antenna elements will talk to each other. It's because the radiation field of the antenna 1 will influence the radiation field of the antenna 2 and vice versa. So this is known as the mutual coupling. While designing any MIME antenna system, then an engineer should suppress this mutual coupling as minimum as possible. For example, say E1 is the electric field emitted by antenna 1 and H1 is the corresponding magnetic field associated with this E1, which combinedly gives rise to the radiated electromagnetic field. And in the same manner, depending on the phase and the amplitude of the electromagnetic field emitted by antenna 2, there will be constructive interference and destructive interference as well. So this interference between these two fields, two electromagnetic fields emitted by the individual elements is not desirable. It's very unpleasant and it will disturb the reliable operation of any MIME antenna system. So um, mutual coupling is quantized by S to one parameter, which is uh, actually the transmission parameter. It's identical with, uh, to S12 because it's a reciprocal system. So it doesn't matter whether you quantify in terms of S12 or S21, um, both are actually equal. So if you want to plot it, then in the x-axis, you're going to take the frequency and along the y-axis, you're going to take the magnitude in dB scale of S21. And then the plot might be like this. For any practical MIMO system, a good mutual coupling level should be below 20 dB. All right? So the question is how to measure this mutual coupling in the lab. So let's see. To measure this mutual coupling, we're gonna use a vector network analyzer, which is VNA in short. Um, I'm going to use a particular model of VNA and make sure your VNA should have at least two ports, All right? You're gonna also need a couple of 50 ohm cogit cables and definitely we need the antenna on the test, AOT. And finally, we're gonna need a USB drive to save the data, measurement data, and carry it and maybe do some post-processing in our computer later. And then, before starting the measurement process, you're gonna calibrate the VNA. And if you don't know how to calibrate the VNA, then you can watch a tutorial in my YouTube channel under the device and measurement playlist, you're gonna see this particular video made for this particular VNA calibration and it's very useful. So once you finish the calibration, then you can head to the measurement process. So by using a couple of coaxial cables, I've connected this 2x2 MIMO antenna with this vector network analyzer. It's manufactured by Agilent Technologies. The model number is E8364B which supports up to 50 gigahertz of measurement. And I have to check the S21 magnitude of this MIME antenna for checking the mutual coupling. On the screen, you can see the S21 magnitude in dB scale, which is below minus 20 dB, which is good value for any MIME antenna. Um, if the MIME antenna has more than two ports, for example, four ports MIME antenna, and the VNA has only two ports, you can still measure that four port antenna by using a two port vector network analyzer, but I'll show that in another separate video. Thanks for watching.